This is a reprint, it's not an original. Thanks, Adrian. Uh, but yeah, thank you for uh, putting this on. Uh, and as you said, uh, Quantel, we've actually got the, the lady here who actually came up with the name Quantel uh, in 1973, and the first employer, Quantel, the husband. Uh, we've got Richard, who uh, on Painting with Light, if you've seen the BBC TV show, he actually helped several of the artists uh, uh, doing their work. And we've got Roger, who's head of publicity, so all these images that went around, they would have been sent out by Roger. There's literally, just by coincidence, there's a letter from Roger there in the, in the display case. Um, but I presume none of you have heard of the Quantel paint box before this, really. Um, yes. Oh, good, good, there's a percentage. Uh, who came here for that reason, probably. Um, so, uh, a guy who's kind of, um, uh, 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 kind of associated or, or credited with coming up with the paint box, um, I asked him, I said, uh, so I interviewed him and there was a day when uh, a New York Times actually wrote about AI going in Photoshop and it said that Photoshop was the granddaddy, the OG of digital manipulation. Hmm. And I said, Paul, Paul Calorie is called, uh, does it not bother you that people don't know anything about the Quantile paint box. And he said, well, when we invented it, what we wanted to do was an artist would use it. He wouldn't need to know any computer skills at all. He could pick up a pen, a pressure sensitive pen, and he could airbrush paint chalk, which you'll see on the, on the videos. And he would kind of forget the computer was there. So we have a thing called transparency, which means you didn't really know the technology you were using. You just kind of enjoyed and it. It, it made everything work nicer for you. And also, the viewer at home that saw these things didn't know it was done digitally. This is 1981. So really, it's kind of like a, a, a celebration of how successful it was that nobody's ever heard of the paint box. The other thing was, there were $200,000, so nobody had them in their room. So they're in the BBC and NBC or whatever. But I'm sure, as they will tell you, they flew all, flew all around the world. Uh, and it was based in Newbury as well. Um, so that's the other bizarre thing for me, that Silicon Valley was literally 10 years behind all these people that were doing this amazing thing in Newbury, and they won Queen's Awards and all this kind of stuff, and it was international. So I said to Paul, you know, like, why didn't you end up like Adobe or Sony or Philips? And he said, we didn't really want to be. We just enjoyed inventing things and developing things, and money was nice, but of course, we didn't really want to take over the world. We were just good at what we wanted to do. So. As a company, it's really amazing because everyone looks back on this period, uh, especially if they worked there, and they loved this whole period of transition between analog and digital. Uh, but the general public, and certainly the art world, you've probably found this, the art world kind of has always looked down on computers anyway, but nobody's ever really heard of this. So even MoMA, uh, the first uh, music video in the world that was taken into MoMA, that was done on a paint box. Uh, they did a photo quality paint box that did album covers by Nirvana, the one with the baby, with the dollar bill. Uh, the uh, Silence of the Land movie poster, that was done on the paint box. And nobody even knows this thing. So what's been amazing is it's the 50th anniversary last year uh, of Quantel. And I went to Blackpool College. Sorry, is, is how we are doing no, the five no, no, just... <laughs> So Quantel also they involved artists in the whole process. So the user interface was designed by an artist. They had about 50 artists working full time. The only people that allowed in the tech department were artists and tech people. So they really invested in art. They gave away three paint boxes, which you know is worth a million dollars, whatever, in the 80s. So 1985, one arrived at my college, which is Blackpool College, that was divided up between Blackpool, Stockport, and uh, uh, Manchester. There's one in Scotland, one in the south. So basically they gave all this equipment away for students and also launched all these people's careers. So for instance, he was just explaining all the amazing things he's working on Tolkien work now. And he just basically said, you know, can I come and help at Quantel? And it launched these amazing careers for everybody. You know, this guy went off to- just heard this story from me, so- uh, <laughs> I'm ad-libbing. If anybody wants to hear the full story, they can tell an article about it. And this guy went to Asia and was putting all this stuff around, all around Asia. So. So it launched all these amazing careers. It was obviously the birth of a whole industry as well. Um, I apparently was the first photographer to specialize in manipulating images in 1985. Um, so all the stuff that you kind of take for granted now, the paint box did. Literally in 1985, there was something better than Photoshop. Uh, 
So it was seven years ahead, and nobody's ever heard of it. And so this is a celebration, not just of technology, but of the idea of uh, companies which can combine technology to benefit artists. And remember, there was no pop-ups, there was no internet, you weren't a slave to this machine. This machine basically said, hey, if you want to do something, here's an easy way to do it. Uh, so the video we have playing there, uh, Richard Hamilton says, everyone was used to, in the 80s, cut and paste in the office. You could do that with the word processing, but you couldn't do it with visuals. So what you'll see here, mainly in, in the Nolan pieces, are two, the original piece, and then this kind of solarized piece, sorry. So these are the two main things of the paint box. So you've got the idea that you can just get these two elements and just cut them out. I think this is only really two days work, right? And there's obviously hundreds of these pieces. Uh, and there's a thing called color map. I did have a video, didn't know that I can, mm. we're gonna show, um, where you can do this effect, which literally I tried recreating this effect on Photoshop and you can't. So there's like a literally a digital fingerprint uh, where he's completely changed it into this, this new technique. So it's nice that it basically shows you've got a simple idea, but also you can improve on that idea. And he obviously fell in love with it. You can see all the work that he did. So, so yeah, for me, it's kind of a strange time as well. Literally last week, I own a working paint box, so I actually own two, and I uh, basically lent it to Blackpool College uh, where all the students now can use a paint box like I did in 1985. Uh, it's got a QR code on it now, which it didn't have in 1985. Um, but this whole thing, it's really weird how many full circles there are. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, people, once they start thinking, they go, oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. There was, there was a funny story where um, John Morell, who's the uh, art director at, at Quantel, said his mum rang him in 1988 and said, John, I've just seen this commercial for Anchor Butter. And it's amazing, they train these cows to dance. <laughs> and he said, Mum, this is Quantel, this is the company I work for. <laughs> and they literally invented digital editing, etc. Uh, is it, you did it? You, did you work on that? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> that was like one of the first uh, <clears throat> commercials that we taught. Well, after, sorry, just to pick up on what Adrian's talking about. Um, so I worked at Quantel. They flew me all over the world. It was great. I was 23 years old. Uh, and prior to that, I'd been working in a design studio uh, with a guy who handed me a piece of artwork. And I'd been at Norwich School of Art for three years, and it was a very creative situation. Um, but this guy just wanted me to draw a straight line. And if there's any bump in it, he sort of told me off. I hated it. I thought, what have I done for three years at Norwich School of Art? Just have one guy tell me that my straight lines aren't straight enough. So I went to, um, I went to Quantel and I met Martin Holbrook. <clears throat> and I thought, I need to get involved in this. This is the future. This is great. I was at Quantel getting flown around the world for uh, two, about two years, I think it was. And I'd had enough of it by 25. So I sort of wanted to settle down. <laughs> so I ended up... Um, and really, you met people all the way through that job that said, right, we want to buy a paint box. Who are we going to get to use it? What about that guy that showed us how, to, how it worked? So I ended up working for a company called Moving Picture Company mm -hmm. in London. Mm -hmm. And one of the first things that they did was the Anchor Butter commercial <coughs> using that uh, piece of kit. So it's quite... I had quite, you know, I had two years worth of training before I did that. So anyway, that's just a by the by. You should speak instead of me. No, no, it's not. It's, no. <laughs> to, your, to your point, there was a guy. So what's nice is that all these people have come out of the, the, you know, they've kind of forgotten about this story. You've kind of forgotten all the stuff that was there and you brought it all out. Uh, and there's a guy who went to Stockport College who, like me, I got locked in Blackpool. So what happened in the college? Uh, the photographers all said, well, this is just video quality. We're all shooting 10 by 8 transparencies. It's no good. We're not interested. There was a thing called technical illustration back then, which would be cutouts of engines, and it was a big thing that people spent years learning. They all said it's terrible, and uh, the graphic designers all hated it. So basically, the people that got into it, like us, had free reign. So mm. I would get locked in the college, etc. Mm. There was a guy at Stockport. He got thrown out of the college because he... He cut his own key for the Quantel room. <laughs> and so they threw him out of college. But he said, the funny thing is, they used my videos as the promo for the college <laughs> next year. And he said, uh, I went to London, 
and they got a job in, I can't remember where it was, this post-production, and he said the first day, the, the, the you know, art director said, oh, we're gonna do this video, you, you can do like splashes, we've got this video, just put like, like colored splashes all over this video, and uh, we'll be back at four o'clock, we're going to the pub. Yeah. And, and that was Queen, It's a Kind of Magic video. That, yeah. He said that was my first video, so you were just yeah. doing this amazing stuff. So it was like this really amazing, amazing period, and hopefully when you see this work, you know, it captures some of that, that modernity, but also not in a necessarily a tech for tech's sake way. The paint box, literally, <coughs> as Paul says, if you were a bad artist, you were still a bad artist. You didn't, you know, there weren't gimmicks, there weren't things on it that made you a good artist. You had to have skill. So it was, it was your tool, you weren't a slave to it. And that, you know, really changes how things were in the 80s compared to now with tech as well. Um, so, so yeah, um, you know what else to say about the no, no, bus? No, um, uh, but thank you all for coming. Thanks for inviting me. And um, just a little gift, tiny, to say oh, something. You're back on a thank plane you. tomorrow. So I was like, what can I get thank a guy you. that's getting back on a plane? Oh. <laughs> I mean, it sounds all thank fancy you. in New York and all that, but it's you know, it's, <laughs> it's just, how, just how things panned out. We're all flying back into all the time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks for all, all, all of you coming. I've edited a video. The other thing as well, you know, people talk about AI and NFTs and all that kind of stuff. You'll hear exactly the same themes there in the 80s. You'll see, you know, David Hockney and Jennifer Bartlett say, the weird thing is, I'm looking at this thing and I'm painting and there's nothing there. Like, there is nothing there. Yeah, yeah. So all these philosophical questions about, you know, Sydney That's actually real. says on his clip, he said, this, this, this is quite sinister or it's quite interesting how you can change something and there's no limits. Yeah. And that was the first thing where you didn't have to have dark room techniques and spend hours. You could just swap some. The first thing you ever did with a paint box, when you give it somebody, you put their face in it, you'd either knock their teeth out, put a mustache on it, or you'd swap the heads around. Yeah. So all these AI things, oh, it's so easy to swap a head now. This is what the paint box did and what everyone's done. So it's kind of nice to see the, the, the repetition of the same worries now as they were in the 80s. And we all survived the 80s, right? <laughs> Judging by everyone here, we all, we all look good. Uh, we all enjoyed the 80s. So thank you all for coming. Enjoy the art. Obviously, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Anyone else uh, who is like literally uh, part of Quantel, ask them some questions. They know more than me. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we find out less from the horse. <laughs> this is a unique opportunity to get these people here as well. Uh, so you should take advantage of that. But any questions? Uh, and there's quantelpaintbox.com, which I set up. I'm quantelpaintbox at Gmail. Uh, so, You're Mr. Quantel. I, I, so, uh, well, no one else wanted it. No. So, so I've become this kind of conduit, which is great. I'm sharing it, and I'm happy to share the paint box, do talks, do whatever. Uh, I don't want to come across as Tom Cruise talking about Scientology. <laughs> I feel that way sometimes, but, but I've kind of become this kind of focal point. I'm happy to share any information or any questions you've got. Please get in touch. Great. Thanks, Adrian. Hey, thank you. Thanks everybody, as I said.